My name is Ukeria. I'm joined in the studio by Esther Ipitonsin, who came first in the Figure of Speech Challenge. Esther, I'm delighted to have you here. Thank you so much, Ralph. Please kindly begin by introducing yourself. Okay. I'm Esther Perez Ibitomisi. I'm a voiceover artist, a baker, and a student at the University of Port Harcourt. Okay, so Esther, were you aware of exam guide prior to the Figure of Speech Challenge? No, not at all. So what have you discovered about us so far? Okay, I got to know about exam guide when my sister forwarded the flyer of the competition to me and then I went through the figure of speech teaching on YouTube and I learned so well that I was really interested in the competition and I also followed on Instagram and following the teachings and the lectures I've discovered that it's really a place where you can learn and prepare for your examinations. So how did you feel when you came first? Wow, I, like I was excited, I screamed. Um, I was so happy because my effort was not in vain. Uh, who were the people who helped you succeed in the challenge and how did they help you? Okay, I would say primarily my siblings. They mm -hmm. helped me to my siblings, my WhatsApp contacts, the groups I belong to on WhatsApp. I chatted them up. I posted on the groups, but I was not getting any response, so I had to start chatting. I, I had to start going into the IDM to chat them up one after the other, and I, I got a very great response from there. My name is Deborah Joy Ibitomisi, and Esther Perez happened to be my youngest sister. I assisted her in the competition, seeing her resilience and persistency in seeing that she comes first in the post, in the just concluded contest and I saw her prayers, I saw the way she was going from group to group, chatting up people, people, strangers to strangers and it was something that also pushed me also to start making move to my to the groups I belong, WhatsApp groups, post there on my status, doing a follow-up post and I also commented on the post on Instagram and I'm glad that this contest has come to an end and she's the first runner up. We are all excited about this. Thank you. My name is Joseph Olakunle Adeyemo. Esther and I are a member of the same church. So since you are running for a contest, I have to help her because we are, this, we are a member of the same church. And I have to go to the, the video on Instagram to like and to comment. I'm Grace Victoria Ibitomisi, and I got to know about this figure of speech challenge when I was invited to feature in the Marry Me comedy skit that was used as an advert for the challenge. I got on that day and I informed Esther, my sister, about the challenge and she took it up and got our content ready. We submitted it and we hoped she would be picked among the first 10 for the first round and luckily for her, she was picked among the first 10. She was content stand number one. So after that, we moved into the journey of getting likes and comments and I must confess, it was not an easy one because getting organic likes and comments, it's, it's a very tough one, going to people's DM and chatting them, pleading with them to comment, like, and all that, we got insulted. So many persons called us scammers. A lot of experience during this period, two weeks staying glued to your phone from morning till evening, chatting up people, responding, giving them stories. Some persons will, will read all the chat and they'll still come back and tell you what is the competition all about. And you have to start explaining to them over and over again. In all, I'm glad that our efforts was not futile. It was it indeed worth the sacrifice, and I'm glad she came out first. I'm um, Okichuku Fever Oninichi. Esther Prisitomisin is my senior colleague in school in Department of Philosophy, University of Port Harcourt. I helped her win through posting her link on my status, begging people to like and comment on her video. The reason I helped her was because she was my senior colleague in school. She has really impacted in my life, both physically, spiritually, academically. And I'm so happy that after all our efforts were not in vain, that she came out as the first runner up. Thank you. So those were the people that helped me in the com to win this competition. Okay. So what obstacles did you have to overcome in order to win this challenge? Okay, I will start by saying the major obstacle was that I wasn't getting the comments and likes from people. I got discouraged at some point because some would tell me I'm not on Instagram, some would open my message and not reply, some call me scammers. So I was discouraged, but 
at some point I told myself that yeah I can do this and then I re-strategized like going to before I would just send a message straightforwardly so I, I re-strategized by greeting them first then saying I'm so sorry for budging into your DM like this then send a message please can you help me to do this then I had to go to different groups and I started chatting people up in their DM individually one after the other and I see that this yielded great results for me. So now, you want that 50k return. What will you do with the money and what problem will it help you solve? Okay. The motivation behind, because when I got the flyer, I was like, how am I going to get likes and comments? Mm -hmm. Okay, to look for the, to bring the five figures of speech in a sentence is, mm -hmm. can be easy. Yeah. I can easily get to do that. But how am I going to get people to like mm -hmm. and to comment on the video? And so, um, and the motivation behind it was that I needed to use the money to pay my school fee and that of my sister's school fee because I lost my dad 2018 and since then it has been so, you understand, the way Nigeria is. And so getting this money now, I'll be able to pay my school fees and that of my sister's school fees. And I really want to thank Exam Guide for this opportunity. I'm so grateful. Okay. So what are your thoughts on the Nigerian educational system and how do you see exam guide influencing it? Okay, I would like to say that in Nigeria we have a poor educational system and sometimes unqualified teachers, poor learning environment and I see exam guide influencing it in that you can just pick up your phone, go on YouTube and learn for free and they have seasoned and qualified teachers who are dedicated to see that you pass your exam in just one sitting. And I say that exam guide has different apps that you can use to learn and practice and prepare for various examinations such as UTME, SSE and what have you. Okay, thank you so much for your time, Nesta. It was great to have you here in the studio. To prepare adequately for your exam, get the exam guide app tailored for your exam to participate in other challenges. Bye.